Hello young artists, welcome to your art lesson this week. As you may know, it is Friendship Week in school next week. So I had a bit of a think about an artist that might be relevant to that and can help us start to think about what friendship means to us and who our friends are and what they mean to us. This week I'm going to be looking at the work of British artist Labena Hamid. She was actually born in Zanzibar, which is an island off the coast of Central East Africa. But when she was only four months old, she moved to Britain with her mother. And her mother is a really important influence in her life. Now, in the 1980s, Labena was a really key artist in what is called the Black British Artists Movement, along with Chila Kamari Singh Berman, who we explored last week. The Black British Arts Movement came about in the 1980s, about 40 years ago, because black artists at the time knew that they weren't being given the same opportunities as white artists. Therefore, they decided to work together, to encourage each other, to look for those opportunities, encouraging each other, to make their art and use their voice. Labena is a really interesting woman to look at in terms of her paintings of women and how she shows, how she depicts the bonds between them, how she shows the strength of friendships and of people not afraid to pursue what they believe in. And that is what we're going to be looking at in further detail in the paintings to follow. Labena Hamid is something of a history maker. She has been making art since she was very young, but only when she was 63 in 2017 was it that she became the first ever black woman in Britain to win a really important art prize known as the Turner Prize. She recalls that someone once told her, black people don't make art. Shall we look at some of the art she has made? The first artwork we will look at is this painting called The Carrot Piece, made in 1985. Look carefully and consider these questions. If you're watching with someone at home, maybe pause the video and talk about your ideas in response to my questions. Why does he have a carrot dangling? What is she feeling? And what is she holding in her hand? What are the arrows showing? What do you think? Pause the video now. Well, what did you come up with? Did you know the old saying, the carrot on the end of the stick? It means to tempt or encourage someone with the promise of a treat. This artwork refers to art history and the new message of those within the black British arts movement. Here, a white man tries to tempt a black woman with a carrot, but she won't be distracted. She walks away with her hands full full of all she needs to get by. Labena explains that this painting was about how society was not taking black artists seriously and only pretending to respect them, yet they wouldn't fall for this trick. Instead, they put all their energy into educating and loving themselves. What message do you take from this painting? Are there things that you want to teach your friends about? This next painting is called Ankle Deep, created in 1991, 30 years ago. It shows two black women standing behind a black object. What is this object that they're holding, do you think? Notice that it covers most of their bodies. And where do you think they are? Look at the lady on the left. What is she looking at in the distance, possibly? What is the mood of this painting? Is it celebratory? 
Is it solemn or just peaceful and still? Now, can you see that there are pieces of something which could be paper falling from one of the woman's hands? Some people say that these two women are tearing up a map of the past, a map that guided people as to how things should be, the right way of living, who should have rights, who should be in charge. These women are ripping it up because they want to create a new world in which things are fair and there are equal opportunities. What would you change about the world if you could? What would you and your friends like to see happen? What would your new world look like when your map was pieced together? The last artwork we will study in closer detail is called Between the Two, My Heart is Balanced, made in 1991. Look at this painting. Between the two, who do you think it refers to? Yes, the two women pictured here in the boat. Now questions I want you to consider are, what are their clothes like? What are they doing? with their hands. And what's in the front of the boat? Where could they be going? Pause the video and have a think now. Labaina Hamid paints stories about beautiful friendships. Friendships which are full of love and kindness. In between the two, my heart is balanced. We can see two black women positioned in a sailing boat. Their colourful dresses are significant. Clothes and their patterns feature a lot in Labena's paintings. She explains that these women's dresses are a way to show their personalities to one another and to the viewer. That's us. Well, how do you show your personality? Do you show it in big ways or in smaller ways, in more subtle ways? Do you show special sides of your personality to your friends that no one else really gets to see? That's a question I want you to really mull over, think about as you prepare ideas for your artwork in response to Labena Hamid's paintings. I'm now going to make a painting about me and one of my best friends in the whole world. Her name is Emma. She doesn't live near me. She lives on an island called Jersey. Emma loves to swim in the sea in winter and summer, so I think she would like this painting. She also adores walking up and down hills and collecting and drying flowers. We couldn't see each other for a long, long, long time during lockdown, but she came to my wedding and was my maid of honour. In the photo you'll see next, we are hugging after not seeing each other for such a long time. And even though you cannot see our faces, this photo means so much to me. It's the photo that shows how much hugs can mean to friends. Here's how I'm going to paint it. To begin, I've sketched out myself and Emma using a pencil, but I've changed the background detail to include more fluid flower-like forms that I'm going to paint using these acrylic paints. My primary colors, red, yellow, and blue with some white and two brushes of different sizes, tissue paper to blot excess water, it means soak it up. I want to position that next to me, nice and close so I'm not reaching across the whole painting. We are not leaving our paintbrushes sitting in the water, that is a crime, two paintbrushes. You just dab it on the side and leave it on the tissue paper if you're leaving your painting for any length of time. 
Now I've put my paints on a plate. You can use an egg carton. I start usually at the top of a painting. That's because I don't want to drag my wrist down through the paint. So it's a bit of a methodical approach. You don't have to do it this way. And I start with the background detail. Emma, when I think of her, I always think about being outside up a hill in a tent, um, kicking about the beach. And so she is someone I associate with really natural colours. And that's why I've gone with blues and greens, shades of blues and greens and browns for my background. I've kept the background really loose. You can see that instead of having all the cars and all the buildings and all the lights of South East London, I kind of want to transport our hug into somewhere a bit more green and a bit more free, somewhere where we can breathe. Not that she's able to breathe so much in this photo because I'm hugging her so tightly. Now, bringing in um, our love of the sea, I grew up next to the sea as well, so... Um, it's important to me, it's important to the person that I am. I quite like the idea of transforming our denim jackets into almost wave-like forms in terms of how the folds look. So what I'm doing is I am working with a combination of light, medium and dark hues of blue. A little bit of white added to blue will lighten it. A tiny, tiny, tiny amount of black or brown added to blue will darken it down. And having light and dark hues next to each other will really set them off, as you can see here. So it's paying attention to the details of the photograph, but also having a bit of license, artistic license with it. Varying my brush strokes, some are long and smooth, others are short and stippled, meaning like a dotted effect. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to overwork the background, but note that I picked pink as a complementary colour to the green. I faded out the form of the legs so that it would complement the background. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I know all of you at Charles Dickens Primary School are the very best role models and fabulous friends to each other. I'd be so intrigued to see how you interpret this week's art homework all about friendship please, as always, share your work with me at share at londonsoutharthub.org and possibly we'll be sharing these artworks also on our school Instagram throughout Friendship Week as a way to really celebrate and show off the amazing young people you really are. Have a fantastic weekend everybody, can't wait to see what you create. Bye-bye.